So, do you want to build something with perfect matted corners? Check out this 45 degree crosscut sled. The first thing to do is to get some hardwood for the runners. I found a small beach board and used my shopmate bent jointer to squat it up. At the table saw, I cut the slices with smaller thicknesses than the width of the slots. The width of cut was a bit bigger than the real slot measure, so I can fine tune it later. Here I am searching for higher points and removing them with a block plane until the runners fit perfectly. These are my table saw slots. Straight strips won't work, so I will need to make T-style runners. Let's go to the router table. You will want to remove that extra wood carefully in two or three passes until you get the perfect fit. The runners are lightly sanded to provide a smoother run and at the end you may want to apply some wax. Time for drum ready man. For the base I'm using Super Pen. It's a particle board sandwiched between two thin layers of fiber hardboard. I placed a few pieces of thick paper in the tracks to raise up the runners so they are protruding just a little bit from the tabletop. This will make sure that the runners are making a fair contact with the sled base during the glue up. I applied some clamping pressure and waited for some magic to happen. The runners were cut flush to the base and you may want to reinforce with a few screws. It was time to make the fences. I used the MDF scrap that I cut in half and cleaned up the edges. For cross cutting, I just used the mirror gauge and draw a pencil line in the table surface to easily guide my cuts. Back at the router table, I chamfered the fences with a 45 degree chamfering bit so it gets more comfortable to the touch. The back fence was glued directly because it doesn't need calibration. With the blade at 45 degree angle, the curve was extended almost until the end of the sled base. Attach the other fence with just one screw and make all the adjustments needed so you can get a square angle between the fence and the curve. I decided to throw up some color to clearly see the surface line made by the saw blade and try different squares to be sure. 
clamp the fence in place and drive another screw. You might want to drive five or six screws from behind to strongly attach everything. To help secure the boards in place while cutting, I decided to dismantle an old small F-clamp and attach it to the front fence. And here is the first test. I'll be using this LED in my next project, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and go get your hands dirty.